Okay, so I just got this info. Fixed an issue with post-launch Vanguard weapons where unlocked camos couldn't be equipped in Warzone. Now, here's the thing. The thing that scares me about this. It says fixed an issue with post-launch Vanguard weapons. Do they mean like the DLC ones had a problem for other people? I'm saying like all of mine got a problem. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. I, I'm gonna have to figure out which ones are post-launch. Where did that start at? Did the Cooper come with the launch of the game? I don't remember. I know the KG M40 is a post-launch one, right? Customize? Okay, I can cannot use anything on the KG. All right, I have this recorded. I cannot use anything on the KG. Uh, shit. I mean, even let me check the Cooper. I can't even do the Cooper anyway, so you guys will see. These will be the ones that I come back to and check. Uh, Cooper, KG, uh, does a Nikita work? Well, I, I mean, it tells me that my camos are unlocked and, and new and ready to use, and I can't select them. SMGs. Uh, surely I would know which ones we had or didn't have, right? I mean, I feel like the Type 100 was with the game when it launched, right? It's crazy. I do these camo grinds, and I don't even remember. Okay, well, anyway, even if these ones here, like, okay, PPSH definitely definitely came at lunch. All right, and I still can't use it anyway. Right, uh, MP40? I think I can use the MP40. I can. The MP40 works. Uh, well gun. Well gun, I can't. Armaguera, I can't. Blixen, of course, you know, I can't. I don't think we had any DLC shotguns that I can remember. LMGs. Okay, so this is a default launch weapon that I cannot equip. It's not a post-launch weapon. It is at launch weapon. Wait, was the Bren in the game? I don't remember. Maybe, wait. Okay, well, I can't use it anyway. Um, DP? Nope, that's not working either. I'm pretty sure that came at launch. We had up to the G43, and I can't use it either. So that's a launch weapon I cannot use. SVT. Another launch weapon I cannot use. And then a post-launch weapon was this one, this marksman rifle. And I can't use that one either. R98 actually works, but then they killed sniping, so that doesn't even matter. The three line. Three line doesn't work either. So only one of my sniper rifles work at the moment. It's just... Yeah. Combat shield? <laughs> nope. Can't. Nope. I dare them to take these classes from me. You know what would be the funnier thing? They come out with the update. And I did it on about four weapons. The NZ, the Type 100, the Blixen, and the Well Gun. No sniper rifles because sniping is literally dead. They over nerfed them. Watch them nerf every single one of the weapons I did it on. <laughs> I did not want to sit there and do it on a whole plethora of weapons that I don't know are going to be viable or not. It was just stupid. It would have been pointless. All right. What's going on, guys? It's Chef. We're here on Warzone slash Vanguard Season 4. And uh, yeah, one of the top things that I wanted to check here is if my weapons are broken or not. Uh, one good sign is that it says I have a new weapon thing, so maybe something is fixed. So before this, I ended up looking at, like, the Cooper and other things like that. Obviously, the Cooper came with the game, right? So in the patch notes, it says that they were going to fix some sort of bug that made it so you couldn't equip Vanguard camos onto post-launch weapons. But I'm gonna look at regular launch weapons here, like the NZ, for example, that I had to do the glitch on, and it still doesn't work. All right, that's a launch weapon. So, uh, again, I just want to let you guys know, Raven and anybody else watching this video, my camos are still broken. Atomic camo still does not work into Warzone. This is a launch weapon and I it does not work. Now let's look at like a post-launch weapon. The KG was a post-launch weapon, right? And it's still, it's still broken. What are you guys talking about? What did you guys fix here? Is anybody, did it fix anything for anyone? It says this is the new thing and it, I, it doesn't even matter. Okay, yeah, it literally doesn't look like anything changed at all. DP doesn't work. Um, let's check the Whitley since it's post-launch. I, I don't know. Nope, that doesn't work. So I, I don't know what the fuck are we talking about here? <laughs> oh my God. Tell me they got rid of my blueprint. Oh no, it works. Okay, Woo! I don't even know what the best AR is gonna be because they nerfed the ever-living shit out of the bar. Um, they made some adjustments to the NZ, so I'm not really sure what I'm even supposed to be doing there. Uh, they did some adjustment to the burst barrel made the burst option better slightly nerfed the automatic part of it but i don't know if it's better or worse because they also ended up buffing some other parts of it so it's a weird thing too because like it says like decrease but then the number increase uh, whatever man all right so challenges okay so these are the new camos there's two new camos actually in order to unlock this camo false prospector you have to get 50 kills on fortune's keep really really simple Literally, that, that could be just like a couple games. And then the other one, people were calling this Golden Cow, even though this preview doesn't really look like it, but the Death Prospector. 100 kills at Storage Town in Caldera. What the fuck happened? When you're at this screen and you just press R, this screen pops up. It's still the Godzilla thing. What the fuck? Uh, I guess I'll go and get this. You know what's interesting is that this says False Prospector. It makes it sound like it would be the worst camo, but it's actually the legendary one. And then there's this rare one that's like blue called Death Prospector. I, I was assuming that Death Prospector would have been 
The orange one. Whatever. Uh, Battle Pass, if anybody cares, honestly, I don't recommend going to worry about spending any money on this stuff or even the stuff in the store, to be honest with you. Obviously, you can do whatever you want with your money. I don't control shit. But again, just to remind you that once Warzone 2 comes out, I'm telling you, this game is going to be on the back burner. They're going to do it the same way that they do all of their multiplayer titles, and they will focus on the new current one. If Warzone 2 releases a mess and everybody's angry and they're like, let's all go back to Warzone 1, and you think that they're going to like turn around and just keep building building off Warzone 1, it's not happening. Sure, some updates might come out, but it's going to be so much less than what we're getting right now. Warzone 2 will be the primary thing that they're going to be focusing on. This game will be left in the dust, just like all of the previous years of Call of Duty. Uh, you have to buy the bundle thing in order to get this one. I actually kind of like this skin. It looks stupid, but also like kind of cool at the same time. So whatever. Double XP, some blueprints, more blueprints. You actually get a blueprint for the new SMG at rank 5. Holy fuck. Wait, that's like way earlier than I remember. Uh, more double XP. The new weapon, the Marco, is at 15. That's crazy. You get the blueprint for it at 5, but then get the actual base weapon at 15. I made a zombie on Fortune's Keep by lighting three candles and then pressing F to pay respects. You get some quick revives as a reward for killing the zombie. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. All right. I'm actually kind of excited to play Fortune's Keep, though I'll probably never do that unless people require it of me, but LMG, the UGM-8, which I'll go over on the Vanguard and level up and shit. I will try my best to unlock the uh, atomic camo over there, and hopefully it'll work on here. <laughs> uh, more blueprints. This is a pretty cool blueprint, actually. I'm on low texture too, so some blue rifle, okay. This is strange looking. This actually looks pretty cool. Starred Diplomat, uh, a hammer, rocket forge, a UGM thing, and a tier 100 skin is literally, this looks like the other skin that we already have that has a gold mask that actually looks cooler than this one. And then also extra tiers for the new uh, SMG, the Marco. Let's go and get 50 kills. Well, okay, well, luckily my uh, saved armory things over here are still working, so I should have the camos in game. Dude, wait, this map looks crazy. What the fuck? There's so much like everywhere. All right, so this is the map here. Eight house, graveyard. Let's see what kind of frames we get on here. Obviously with OBS going and everything, I get like maybe, if I don't have OBS open, probably like another 30, 40 frames. Although I never play Rebirth either, so I, I don't know. We'll see. All right, looking good coming in. Pretty much 240. Well, I'm probably dead. First weapon I get is literally the worst thing ever. You got a fucking riot shield. You gotta be kidding. Wait, I'm hearing somebody underground. Okay, that hurt my voice. My throat hurts. How do you find any safety on such a small map? How do you even know where to go on this shit? Like, I don't really get it. What is the play style here? Uh, maybe I want to check out Caldera or something. This shit is... Oh no, Resurgence is just weird. But, like, just do regular multiplayer, man. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? The background is beautiful. I mean, they got the rainbow and shit. I just, uh, I don't I don't have a play style down for that. All right, let's see how different Caldera looks. Uh, wow. Okay. I mean, there's still a good amount of trees. Frames... I mean, I don't really have a perfect idea of what my frame should be, but... Yeah, so they made it so people couldn't go and do that camo glitch anymore or whatever, but, I mean, the classes are still there, they're still working, but it's just crazy to me how quickly they go and fix shit like that. They don't even have, like, the legitimate process of unlocking the camo working at all. Like, people that have literally done it, completed it, rightfully earned it, still cannot use it. It's just crazy to me, man. It's insane to me. me or do I feel like slower for some reason? I feel slow.
don't even know where this vault thing could possibly be. I want to go and use a balloon, but I feel like somebody's just watching this shit. Oh no, if somebody is watching me. Good for you, man. Fucking shit! I hate this shit, man. Why are you the way that you are? Why do you do this? Why don't you just actually play the game? He's probably in here. I'm probably dead. Shit, wait, I use it in here? Oh, wow. Let me in. Okay. God, there's so much fucking money. Holy shit, there's so much stuff. I don't even know where I even am. I'm gonna be honest though, uh, I don't even notice any of the map changes because I don't know where the fuck I am, like ever. I was doing too much, man. I should have like, I don't know. I thought he was worse. He got close enough for me where the aim assist just, it didn't matter how much movement I was doing there. I feel like they did something to slide canceling or some shit, I swear. I feel like I'm running slower. Prepare to fight, okay? Oh, they're actually making me fight somebody. Watch me lose this shit. Lucky headshot there. Okay, well, the gas is coming in and I don't have anything. I mean, honestly, I might as well just fucking leave straight up. I'm going to be against people that all have their loadouts and shit. And half the time that I was even alive here, even under... Oh, there's Storage Town. I didn't even go there. I feel like there, there's like a Storage Town mode, isn't there? So we could just like go there and get like 100 kills or whatever for the camo. The camo doesn't even look good, though. Hey, 16 kills. <laughs> I can't even drop a 20, Jesus. He's gonna make fun of me, oh no. Wow. Okay. GG, everyone.